Total Fun Hustler here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about six items that sell really well on eBay that you should be knowing about. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of my office. I could be Chris the Aqua Hustler, the Aqua Momoa Hustler, I have no idea. The Jason Samosa Hustler. Um, but yeah, welcome to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler. In this show, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about six items that do sell really, really well on eBay. And if you happen to find these items and know what to do once you find them, then you should be converting your money pretty fast. So we're gonna to get to the very first item. And the reason why I wanna to get to this item is because I found one today at a thrift store. It's the fourth one I've probably found in the past, mm, like eight months, maybe six months, something like that. So the fourth one of this one shoe. All right, so this is a Timberland Boot Company shoe. It's called the Wodehouse Chukka, as you can see right here. I'm gonna make sure all the pictures are right here. Anyways, this shoe right here is uh, found in Chukka style, which is the one that's a little bit more ankle style boot. And there's also a model that's just like the low cut version. But anyways, this is a really easy, easy shoe to find. Look at that V cut in the back um, where the leather kind of splits for a second. And then also when you turn it over, it has a very distinctive kind of diamond pattern on the bottom. Them, which is easy to spot as well. Today, as I was looking through the shoe section of a Goodwill, I mean, I looked at the aisle next to me and I was able to spot that shoe, not even see it. I just saw the back of it, that little V cut. And I immediately took my hand across the aisle, right across like the shoes. And I picked it up from the other aisle while being in my own aisle. It was kind of crazy, but I already knew what I was looking at. It was so easy to spot. So anyways, the, the pair that I picked up today was like 13 bucks out the door. It should sell for around 109 to about 129. So it's a really good item and they usually sell pretty fast. Like I will, I don't think I'll have this item past about three weeks. And that's typically what you can expect from these Timberland Wodehouse Chukka uh, boots made by Timberland Boot Company. But yeah, look out for this in your thrift stores for sure. And when you're out there thrifting in general. All right, the next item is something that I talk about a lot. You've heard me talk about this, but you should know about it and you should have no kind of qualms on picking this item up once you see it. So what you need to be looking for is Cascade lacrosse helmets. And there are three models that you really want to check out. Okay. You want to look for the CPXR and then in the pictures that you're looking at right here, this is the R model. You can see that the R is on the side, the CPXR, the CPXR will show a little CPX and then a big R. The R models are just going to show an R and then there's even one above that called the S. But anyways, look around for these lacrosse helmets. Um, they're pretty easy to spot. They're almost indestructible. I have never come across one that hasn't um, you know, giving me issues or anything like that. And on top of that, they do resell on a local level. I can get a CPXR sold for around 50. And then on eBay, I can get a CPXR sold for around 75, maybe 79. And then an R model, you know, around a hundred bucks or so. And then an S model, which I haven't picked up yet, but I can speculate that's probably going to shake out somewhere around 130 and above. So I, it's easy to find the R models. They're out there. So take a look at thrift stores, especially, you know, go through that helmet section and look for lacrosse helmets, but just remember you're looking for three different models right cpxr r and s that's it and then you can you know put those things on ebay you can do on the spot research right there and the more interesting colorways are going to sell for more money too so i'm also showing you another colorway right here which is pretty cool and that's the, another one that i found not too long ago usually when i find these things they're like five dollars or below like they're really cheap super unsuspecting and you can flip them pretty quickly for some really good money Next item is cool because it's usually a first class kind of rate, but these are carbon or titanium spindle slash carbon pedals for road bikers. So you want to look for brands like Look, um, Time is another good brand, Speedplay, um, Shimano, uh, certain SPD ones might be carbon. So you want to be looking for those uh, main brands, but yeah, it's pretty easy to you know, spot an actual carbon um, road biking pedal, but this is probably something you're not going to find at a thrift store, but more so maybe a garage sale or a yard sale. So when you pick it up, and if you look at the actual pedal and it looks just jet black, it's probably just going to be a normal plastic, you know, pedal. But if you look at it, it has uh, that kind of carbon look to it. Not so much a weave, but that carbon kind of hardened look, uh, much like the ones that you're seeing pictured right here. Then those typically sell for around 50 or more and they are first class rates. And if you're lucky in the garage sale and maybe take it to someone that wasn't the road biker in the first place, you might be able to get out of there, you know, spending two bucks or less, um, you know, for something like this. But this is definitely something that sells very fast on eBay and they don't really weigh anything. So, you know, the shipping is pretty much nothing. And uh, yeah, they're, they're really easy to spot and just make sure that you rotate the spindle, that everything's okay, that it doesn't feel gritty, which they shouldn't because everything is really tight on those things. But yeah, you know, just rotate the spindle, make sure um, nothing's all crazy, but it should be just fine because it is on a road bike and a road bike isn't really taking many impacts 
uh, as opposed to like a mountain bike, for example. But definitely something to look for, and it'll make you some good money. All right, next item real quick. You've heard me talk about this as well, but hi ain't or video ain't camcorders with a pullout screen. Very important, especially made by Sony. In fact, most of the ones that I ever mess with will be made by Sony. So Hi8 or Video8 um, camcorders, they're relatively easy to test. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have the power cable at the very minimum, okay, when you sell this thing. The battery typically on these is something that might hold charge, but usually won't. Um, and then there can be other accessories like, um, you know, microphones that you can put on top or other random things, uh, remote controls to some of them, AV cables. That's not like the biggest deal. When you sell this thing at a very bare minimum on eBay, you're going to want to at least have the power cable and at least the camcorder. And if the battery holds charge, that's, you know, that's okay, but it'll probably lose, you know, only hold charge for about maybe 10 or 20 minutes because these things are Nikehead and the batteries just don't last long on these things. But as long as the customer on the other side can see that it turns on, you have the swivel screen, you can run through the menu functions. Uh, and if it has night shot, that's even like a little bit more of an upgrade, but these things sell, okay, with, um, you know, just the power cord and the unit itself, assuming it works, make sure you test the eject button too. So make sure it ejects and you can put a tape in there. Um, if you have a video eight or high eight tape, it's advisable to test them out that way as well to see if it records. It's pretty easy to do, all right? These things sell for around 50 or above really quickly. And the more accessories that you have with these things, then they can start, you know, climbing up to like the $100, $130 range pretty quickly. So something that you should be considering, they fit in pretty small boxes. So you gotta be getting into the camcorder game. They're really, really easy to test out. There's only like three functions on the Switch. It's like uh, VCR mode off and then camera mode. That's like pretty much it. And then everything else from there is run, run by a sub menu with a little rotating wheel. Um, that has the ability to be pressed in when you want to select something off the menu. So pretty cool stuff. I know a little bit more than I should, but I also did work at the audio video department of Circuit City when it was still in business. And that's how I kind of know about these things. So make sure you're in the know. Okay, next item, waxed jackets are very, very popular. There's so many different brands you should look for. Um, top of my head right now, CC Filson, uh, Barber, um, I mean, Browning is another one. I want to say Kitson is another one. Is that another Kitson or Kitson? Something like that. Um, there's just a bunch of them. Okay, there's like a whole bunch. So the jacket that I'm showing you right here uh, sold for some really, really good money. It was a $40 find at a garage sale. It sold for like two, uh, over 230 bucks. Um, but yeah, waxed cotton wax canvas. You can kind of see the look of this jacket is very kind of Indiana Jones-ish looking. It's very tarnished. And when you pick these things up, they almost feel damp and they feel wet. Um, when you crinkle up a sleeve or something like that, um, the crinkle mark will be on the fabric. It's kind of cool. So basically it's the wax like separating. So um, these things do have to be re-waxed, but not by you, right? They have to be re-waxed by the next person to improve water repellency and things like that. Um, but outside of that, I mean, wax uh, canvas or wax cotton jackets are extremely, extremely wanted on eBay. Typically when I find these things, they're selling for about $100 or more, um, you know, as long as it's a pretty medium to high grade brand. Yeah, about 100 bucks or more is very, very reasonable. So when you're finding these things at thrift stores for 10 bucks or maybe even a garage sale up to 40 like I did, uh, you know, don't be scared about that kind of stuff because these things are bought year round and uh, people love them. So they go to eBay to try to find them and then of course do your standard measurements and things like that. But uh, yeah, you know, that's one of those things that you can put to eBay and make some really, really good money on very quickly. Last thing, two stripe or three stripe trucker hats. So the one in the picture was like a $1 hat. I think I sold it for like 50. Um, and it's, you know, first class rate, pretty awesome. But it doesn't have to even be Goodyear, for example. It could be Pepsi Cola, it could be Mountain Dew, it could be Red Man, it could be anything like that. It can be an all sports team. It could be pretty much anything. The two stripe or the three stripe hats are very, very wanted. Collectors love them. And so, you know, when you find one like this, even if it's kind of like messed up, it's worth putting up on eBay and checking out to see if you can get a bite or something like that. The hat that is in the picture right here, I actually found two of them. And so the first one has sold. I don't even know if the second one's up right now. <laughs> I have to like make sure and take a look if I uh, have taken the pictures for it. Um, I always told myself like, I'm not gonna put them both on sale at the same time because it might get kind of confusing when I have to ship them off, like which one's which, because they look identical. Um, so I wanna make sure that, uh, yeah, I better make sure that that eBay listing is up now. Um, yeah, I find these things for like a dollar at a garage sale. It was a very obvious kind of score too. I even said it on my ride along when I got them. I was like, I know this is a score. It's a pretty big deal. And um, yeah, so two stripe, three stripe trucker hats. Um, the more straight the bill is, probably the more mint it's going to be. Uh, snapback typically on the back as well. 
I mean, collectors love them. People aren't really wearing them per se. They're actually like kind of buying them to put them like on a wall or something like that. So just remember that. It sells well on eBay and something you should definitely be looking out for, for sure. Okay, so that's the show. I don't know if it's a long show or a short show. Um, and you know, if you enjoy this content, then don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment, and check out all my cool offerings that will help you make money at the first link, actually the second link down below. It's a link tree to all my cool like guides and stuff like that. You should go check it out. The first link down below is a free guide that you should go get and uh, it'll teach you how to like make money reselling some used items or 50 items in that guide. I hope you like the show. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Goodbye.